everybody, welcome back to Crash Blade Gaming. I'm your host, Crash, and today we got a budget deck for you that's surprisingly really powerful. You're able to hit 300 damage with just two energies. Oh, and did I mention that it's a single prizer? It's pretty good. I enjoyed playing it. And if you enjoy the videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment below. There is a Pokemon question of the day. It helps you win free stuff. And like the video. It will really help me grow the channel, and I would much appreciate it. I appreciate all of my other subscribers that I have, and the people that are participating in the Pokemon question of the day. I appreciate you as well. But yeah, I've talked so much about the Pokemon question of the day. Let's go ahead and roll right into it. All right, time for the Pokemon question of the day. Now, as for last video's question, what water type Pokemon has diamonds on its body? I had two participants comment in the comment section below. And unfortunately, they were both wrong, but they did stick on water type, which is nice. And one got really close. They uh, picked Empoleon. And uh, I forget what they picked on the other uh comment but they were also close because they're technically right but it wasn't the pokemon i was looking for so maybe i should make the questions a little bit more uh pokemon specific but anyways let's go ahead and get into the answer here the answer for this last video's uh question of the day was suicune one of my favorite pokemon uh, i remember when i used to play pokemon crystal one of the first legendaries i got and i just loved this legendary when i was younger playing pokemon crystal it was great awesome but anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this video's Pokemon question of the day. So, this bug type Pokemon loves flowers and is able to use its wings to release toxic dust into the air. Which Pokemon is this? Go ahead and leave your answer in the comments below. You will be entered for a uh, prize at the end if you get three correct. So you just need to watch three videos. Uh, be the first person to answer them and get three right. And then I'll send you something on PTCGO. And when that goes away, I'll have to figure out how to do something else. But since we still have PTCGL, let's kind of get those answers in and get this moving. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the deck list for this video. Alrighty, like I said in the intro, this is a pretty budget deck. And we are featuring the Salazzle with the Derisive Roasting Attack. This attack does 90 damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. Which is amazing because we got a new Pokemon that really helps out with this. Slazzle used to be paired with another Pokemon, I can't remember, I think it was Parasect maybe, I don't remember, but it didn't do enough to Pokemon Vs, but now, we have Butterfree, and oh my goodness, you're afraid it's a stage 2, but hold on, we'll get into this, the ability Tricolored Scales here, we get to burn, confuse, and poison our opponent's active Pokemon when we evolve uh, this Pokemon, but how are we going to get the stage 2 to work, well, both Caterpie and Metapod here have the adaptive evolution ability, which means we can evolve straight away. We don't have to wait. It just evolves all the way up into Butterfree, no problem. And also, there is some little fixings that we can do here with Metacham. We have the ability to use Yoga Loop on some Pokemon Vs and Vmaxes, maybe, which I want to test out in here and see if it actually makes a difference. But hey, Yoga Loop might be nice. Putting two damage counters and then getting an extra turn would be insane. So yeah, we have that in here. And of course, we have Rescue Carrier just because our Pokemon are 90 HP or less. We need to get them back. They're going to be getting knocked out a lot. They have to knock out six Salazzles, hopefully. Uh, Turfield Stadium, get the Butterfreeze going. And, you know, standard support line here. Twin Energies for the Salazzles. Raihan to help power up things if we need to. Uh, a couple of Fire Energies just because of Dura Duralodon. Because <laughs> we don't want to get locked out in certain matchups. But yeah, this is the deck. Let's go ahead and get into some matches on the ladder. Oh, looks like we're going up against Leafeon here, which is weak to fire, which is great for us. Uh, we start off with three Salandids, but nothing else. This might be a little toughy for us. Um, we'll see what we can get going here. We did draw Metapod, which unfortunately doesn't help currently. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and attach to the bench. Play down the Turfield Stadium and Bruno, because we don't have a choice here. We need to get Caterpies down, and hopefully this does get us at least one Caterpie. Right. And our hand is kind of dead here. We'll go ahead and evolve into the Metapod. And we will bring out a Butterfree. Just to hold in our hand and it thins the deck. Uh, next turn I will plan to <coughs> use the Tricolor Scales here. And then we evolve into Slazzle and hope we get an energy off the top deck. Here comes a Leafeon VMAX which is great. Um, we will be able to take a knockout on this Leafeon VMAX. If we get an energy and here comes a drizzle with shady dealings um, we'll see what happens I don't mind if they knock out the metapod I have rescue carrier in my hand they're gonna get the galar mine out which is okay 
There goes our stadium, but that's fine because we already got the Butterfree in our hand. We're going to pull out another Leaf Hound. This is a winnable matchup. I just don't have the energies in my hand, unfortunately. But let's see how we can do here. We're going to promote this land it with the energy. Hope we top deck an energy. Oh, we top deck a Caterpie. That's a bummer. So, let's see. Smog poisons, but Butterfree does it anyway. Let's go ahead and evolve the bench. Just because I know I don't have an energy. And let's go ahead and use the Butterfree here. And burn, confuse, and poison this Leaf on VMAX. Hopefully it hits itself next turn and I don't have to worry about anything. And we'll just use a smog here. So 30 damage. Flip heads for burn. They don't have burn anymore, which is a bummer. But they are still confused. And they are still poisoned. And we hit for weakness. So that's also a thing. Ooh, they got out themselves in Teleon. Another Leafy on VMAX is coming up. And we are in top deck mode, ladies and gentlemen. Capture energy, get themselves another Sobble. And they are able to switch, which is a bummer. So I really would like to get a Professor's Research here. Hopefully they don't get another switch. I want to keep my Solandit. But we will see what happens. Our opponent has a level ball that will get them either another Sobble or Drizzo. That's fine. I'm not 100% worried here, but I am a little bit. That's okay. This uh, Butterfree will probably get scooped up. And we top deck a scoop up net. Hmm. Do I scoop up the Butterfree now? Yeah, confuse it. Why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Yes, we would love to do all these special conditions. That's what we're here for. And we'll smog anyway. Alright. We are stuck. They flip tails for burned, which is great. That means they're going to take another 30 damage. And the confusion damage might be great as well. There's another Drizzile. They can always switch. See, the bummer now, is since they switched my stadium, is I'm not able to thin a little bit. I'm trying to get a supporter here, you know? I've only used one supporter. So, there's that. Here comes a Leafy on VMAX. Crobat for two. If we can just top deck an energy or something, we'd be in this game. They're going to gust up my Butterfree here. That's fine. Here goes the Butterfree. We'll promote the Salazzle and hope we did get a research. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and grab a Metapod and a Salandit. We can evolve that guy there. Play that down and research. We need a Butterfree and an Energy. There they are. That's perfect. And we can do this. We can replace the Stadium. Grab ourselves a Butterfree. That loading glitch is still in the game. How funny. Yes, we would love to do this. And now we would love to hit for weakness. Here's that twin energy, and we are roasting you. Bye-bye! Three prizes. Let's hope one of them's an energy. If we get an energy off this prize, we win the game next turn if they promote their VMAX. And they don't take out my Butterfree. Let's see what they do. Okay. There's another quick shooting Inteleon, which doesn't bother me. If they're quick shooting my Butterfree, that means they don't have a boss. And it looks like we're going to go on to win it. Level, oh no. They can get a boss's orders with this Drizzile. Let's see here. We can Raihan. For... Ah, oh, but I don't have a Salazzle. Oh no, they're going to Marnie us. Okay. We did have the Scoop of Net in hand, which is a bummer. And the Energy in hand, which is another bummer. 
Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. We're still in an okay position. Bruno Salazzle scoop up net. We're good. We're good. You can max leaf. That's fine. Let's promote to land it. Now we just need to find an energy. So let's level ball. We'll grab ourselves a Salazzle because I can e evolve both of them here. Yep. Let's do that. Let's scoop up the Butterfree. Let's play down. Everybody. Yes. And then we Bruno for seven and hope we get an energy off of this. There's the energy. That's what we need. And roasting you away. Bye bye, Leafeon. That's it. Powerful. Ooh, looks like we're going up against Colossal V. So I don't imagine them being able to attack next turn. So I'll go ahead and attach the energy to the Salanded in the active. Level ball for a Metapod. And we will pass the turn here. We have Salazzle and Marnie. So hopefully the Marnie gets us into another energy. If not, we'll just retreat into the other Salanded to throw one in the discard. I right, keep our Salazzle safe. Big great ball. Yeah, I don't see them attacking on this first turn, but then again, I don't remember how Colossal V works. So it looks like we'll find out. Catching a big turn, that's a bummer. How much damage do we do again? 90 for each special condition, so we do what? 270? Plus, do we do 300 damage? No, 270 is too high, right? I don't know. <laughs> I forget. We'll see. Ah, well, all these damage modifications are going to be a pain. Rotom phone. I'll Marnie you right into that, so don't worry about it. All right. Our turn here. We top deck a Bruno. Let's go ahead and evolve. And Marnie, want more than four cards. Bruno's only going to get me four. Didn't get what I needed though. Go ahead and attach the twin energy down here and we will confuse them. Next turn we can attach the fire energy and at least do a derisive roast. A roasting, but uh, there was no point in doing it this turn without special conditions because it wouldn't have done any damage. So, if they have a way to attack, okay they don't. Another Salazzle. Oh man, that Marnie made me stuck. So let's go ahead and roast our Colossal V over there. And let's hope they don't knock me out with Searing Flame. There's the energy. Let's hope confusion works. Oh, he has an air balloon. That's not gonna. I mean, your cost of two now. You could retreat if you wanted to. Or you can evolve. Go to the top card of your deck instead of uh, energies, does 90 more damage. No energy? Perfect. But you're not. Okay, a research. Well, let's drop that there. And I guess we're just going to lose a twin energy. Yeah, I have to research. I need a Butterfree. Oh, that's not a Butterfree. Oh no. Let's play down the Caterpie. Let's play down you. Level Ball. Gets ourselves another Metapod. And we can Bruno next turn. Don't know if I should play Metacham yet. But, um, we'll see. Let's go ahead and confuse the VMAX. And hope they uh, attach an energy and whiff with the confusion. But then again, I don't mind if they knock out the Salazzle either. They discard a Zapdos to get a Ranguru, which will would help the uh, first attack there. Oh, where did it come from? Eruption Shot. Okay. That helps Eruption Shot. You can put an energy on the top of his deck. It's a smart thing to do. 
There probably goes an energy at the top. Just get a eruption shot. It's going to be able to knock out the Salazzle if he doesn't get confused. Nice. Top deck the boss's orders. Don't think I want it. Do I want a Bruno right now? I don't think I want a Bruno either. So I think the best thing to do here is just attack. 230. Yeah. Best thing to do here is just attack. We should be able to take a knockout next turn. If our Bruno gets us into a Butterfree. So I need to find either the Stadium or Butterfree. And I have so there's six chances. Oh he flipped tails again! And we top deck a Butterfree! Oh my goodness, okay. Let's evolve, let's take the knockout here. We take the knockout on this VMAX and we are set up to take the knockout on the other Colossal. Let's roast this guy out of here, 250. So we do do 270 damage, that's insane. There's a stadium, which is nice. The energy, okay, rescue carrier. So we do 270 damage plus the poison, 280 plus the burn, 300 damage. And this is why we play the meta champ, because we could do 300 damage. And if it was a normal VMAX or not Colossal VMAX, it would be doing 320 with this and then take an extra turn. Insane. Insane. Alright, we promote the Slazzle. We attach the energy. We scoop up our line here. And we play Butterfree. We burn, confuse, poison. We evolve just in case. We keep the rest of our hand. We knock out this Colossal. Easy as that. And Orangaroo's next, and we got this one in the bag, folks. There is absolutely no way we can uh, need to get another Butterfree to take the knockout here. Thanks, opponent. I appreciate you not conceding and letting me go through with these attacks. But there was no way they were coming back from this. And we roast away. Another win for Salazzle. That was some pretty powerful stuff you saw there. I couldn't get a match with Medicham B, unfortunately. I tried and tried and tried, but I just couldn't find a good match with the Pokemon V that had about 320, 330 HP where I needed to use it. Uh, so it's there for situational cases, but hey, I mean, you hit for 300 damage, so 270 base because of the Butterfree, 10 for the Poison, 20 for the Burn, and then if they flip hits for the Burn, they're left at 300 damage, which means... Uh, when the turn pops back to you, they're going to get 10 damage for poison, and then you can yoga loop. And then boom, you get an extra turn right after that, and you can most likely win the game in one turn, uh, technically. Like that, if you, especially if you can take out two VMAXs. It's insane. This deck is really strong. The only problem with the deck is, you know, it has a stage 3 line, so you have to get all the pieces, but it's not that hard. Uh, finding the energy to power up the Slazzles might be a little difficult. But, uh, you know, you have a couple turns to set up. Rhyhound helps. Oh, this deck kind of really works well together. It's a budget deck. It's amazing. I think I'm rambling on too much about how much I like this deck. But anyways, yeah, like the video, subscribe, answer the question in the comments. We'll see you next time on Crash Blade Gaming.